The truth is that in a very real way, all the sins we commit are fundamentally acts of theft. And this is not a perspective restricted to Christianity. We find this kind of thing clearly stated in various novels. In The Kite Runner, there is only one sin, only one, and that is theft. Every other sin is a variation of theft. When you kill a man, you steal a life. You steal his wife's right of a husband. You rob his children of a father. When you lie, you steal someone's right to truth. When you cheat, you steal the right to fairness. There is no more wretched act than stealing. And many years before that, Stephen King wrote the following. The father of sin was theft. Every one of the Ten Commandments boiled down to, thou shalt not steal. Murder was the theft of a life. Adultery was the theft of a wife. Covetousness, the secret slinking theft that took place in the cave of the heart. Blasphemy was the theft of God's name, swiped from the house of the Lord and sent out to walk the streets like a strutting whore. So in the end, we find that sin is simply theft. And I think that's remarkable when you consider the cross. What is God's answer to a world that has broken itself by taking what did not belong to it? All sins come down to stealing from others, from stealing from God, from stealing from ourselves. What is God's answer to all of this wrongful taking? God's cure for our wrongful taking is a great, merciful giving. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. It is no coincidence that Jesus is crucified between two thieves, for at the end that is the state of humanity. And the only question is how we will respond to the great giving of God's great Son. Will we be like the thief on his left, unrepentant all the way to the end? Or will we see the great gift of God's only begotten Son and say to him, Remember me, represent me, forgive me.